is cloning your line. Uh, we want to have this following method added to our line class, which we coded a few videos ago. It's in the playlist link below the like button, 8.14. This here. We're going to be using that to um, do this. We want to return true if the given point is collinear it with the other points. So basically, we're just using the slope formula to see if they're on the same line. Now, if we use a slope formula, we get the same number. It means the same slope. So they will cross each other and everything's good. There is a condition though. If we have two identical x values, we don't want to do anything, right? We want to return false because, well, then they're going to be on the same like line, right? Because if you look at this formula, x2 minus x1, well, we can't have 0 minus 0 or 1 minus 1 because that's going to give us zero in the denominator and we can't divide by zero so that's just something to keep note um, and if we look at this class line we basically have points p1 and p2 already inside of our class so we're going to compare our new point p against them it's going to be pretty simple let's we'll start off with an if statement and we're going to say if our and we're going to compare our current point to our other points, which are p1, p2. So if p1.x is equal to um, p.x, or p2.x is equal to p.x, we want to return false because we can't do anything here, right? We had a similar problem a while back, is collinear point, um, and I guess that had us return true. So, maybe we'll switch this to return true, actually. We'll see what happens uh, when we finish this. So, we return true. Otherwise, we're going to want to be done here. And now we can actually compute, right? Because we don't have two zeros on the bottom. Or we don't have a zero on the bottom. So, otherwise, we are going to have two slopes, right? Because we're comparing our P against P1 and then P2. So, let's just do um, one is equal to and let's make this a double double one is equal to and since we're dealing with this point p right here if you remember the point class um, it automatically has the variables uh, points x and y as integers so what we're going to do before anything is cast this as a double so double one is equal to double and then we're going to have our y2 minus y1 so we will have we'll do like p2 dot y minus our new p dot y and then we're going to divide this by a p1 or no p2 dot x minus p dot x so we're just doing the slope formula right here we can copy this paste this down here and do the same thing but for a second one where we take two different points so instead of doing p2 we'll have p1 and instead of doing p2, p1, and that's going to give us our two points. All we need to do from here is return if our 1 is equal to 2. And that's pretty much it. Let's close off our else and submit. So if 1 is equal to 2, it's going to return true. Otherwise, it will return false. Um, we are just checking the slope here and the slope here. We need two points to validate. That passed 8 out of 8 tests. And that is how... I would go about solving this 8.17 is collinear line.